Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Stamrio. Welcome to Persona 4. Today, we are currently just chilling back at our home. It is evening on Sunday, 5.15. Uh, yeah, so we're just chilling back. I think right now it's... It should be May. I think it's the month of May. Maybe it's April. Actually, I have no idea. We should probably check the calendar just in case. <laughs> I don't remember my months anymore. Uh, what does it say here? No, it says we play for 12 hours. Oh, nice. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. No, no. April? Yeah, today is May, then. So today is the month of May. Wow, already 15th of May? A lot of time has passed. Jesus. <laughs> okay, then. Um, <clears throat> Alright, then. Uh, Let's talk to Dojima, see if he has anything for us. It's bad influence on Nanako. Oh, yeah, the biker gangs. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, what have we done so far here? I, it's been a while since I played. <laughs> uh, status. Let's see what we got here. Well, we got Yukiko. That's good. We still gotta go to a dungeon and see if we can get her weapons, if possible. I, unless we already missed it out, then I guess we already missed it out. And I'm gonna have to check on that later. Okay, currently we are courage, we're reliable. We have enough courage. We have, we're pretty eloquent. Uh, we need to raise our courage. I would like to see if we can raise our understanding and diligence a little bit more because I want to make sure we have all the stats maxed out as much as possible. Although I would like to raise the courage a little bit more because I mean, there are going to be moments where we can be a little flirty with the girls and I want to make sure that we got the moments perfectly there so we can be a little bit bold, a little bit more courageous. Let's check the fridge here, see what we got here. Nothing catches your eye, as usual. Alright, we already checked the midnight channel, so it's raining tonight. Something might appear on the midnight channel. Yeah, we should probably watch the TV in our room. Let's go ahead and do that. I guess we're not gotten courage, uh, courage this time around. Let's see what happens to this person um, from last time, because we saw somebody there on the Midnight Channel, so my controller got... Oh, hold on. There we go. The Wildcat caught that a little bit. <laughs> Alright, it's raining tonight. Will something appear on the TV? Well, let's check. Let's see what happens. Something is bound to appear. Another victim that is caught in a dungeon. A figure appeared. The image is unfocused. Do you feel like you've seen it before? I remember the skull shirt, that's for sure. Oh. Did you see that? Yeah. Uh, it might be Kanji Tatsumi. Well, yeah, this. I feel like I saw that shirt before. Yeah, the biker guy that was uh, stomping the other bikers outside his house because his mom couldn't sleep. I remember that. I remember. I have a good memory about this. Uh, it might be Kanji Tatsumi. Yeah, I think so too. I knew I saw him somewhere. He was on TV. He was on that special news report. Yep. He's one scary dude. He was even yelling at the camera to get bent. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I can't take that seriously. Sounds good. Oh, I almost forgot. It's kind of off subject, but as long as you're on the line, mind if I ask something? What's up? It's something I've been meaning to ask for a while. Okay. So, what do you think about Yukiko and Chie? I mean, let's not mince words. Which one's <laughs> your type? Why did I know this was gonna come up? I some some part tell me he's either a gonna give me an awkward confession because we've been hanging out so much, or B is gonna ask us which type he is, uh, which type we like. Oh God. Mm. Ooh, this is gonna be quite something. Um. Hmm. Like, it's really difficult to decide, guys. It's really difficult to decide. Oh, this is why I play this game. For these moments, not for the combat. I don't care much about that. This is why I play, for the friendship sim. Oh, God, this is a flag. This is a flag that I want to be careful with. Just saying. I Chia, I like her outgoingness. I like how she is, you know, just chill, pretty cool, pretty relaxed about things. Yukiko, on the other hand, she's very feminine, and that's actually what I really like as well. So I gotta say both this time. Oh, it's probably gonna backfire, but I gotta kinda say both. You, you told Yosuke that you don't have particular preference in girls? No! I like both! Your understanding ha Oh, at least my understanding has increased. Well, that's good. Mission accomplished. We did good. We did good. We did really good. Whew. <laughs> hey, but don't worry. This is just between you and me. Gotcha. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you, bud. Yosuke hung up. 
Oh, please don't tell us we have to compliment, complicate, uh, contemplate on which one we like. I mean, I, I like both, personally, myself. I think both are pretty cute. Oh, God. The one who was on last night, it's that guy, right? Kanji Tatsumi, huh? He definitely didn't look like the social type. Nope. Now there's an understatement. Isn't he really scary? Uh, did you see the news special the other day? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw it. You mean the special on biker gangs? I watched it too. It wasn't like that when he was younger, though. She... Yukiko, do you know something? You know him, Yukiko? Uh-huh. But we haven't talked to each other in a long time. Really now? His family runs a textile shop, and we've been a customer of theirs for many years. So I speak with Kanji-kun's mother from time to time. Oh, why don't we go there now? We might be able to talk to him in person. Unless he's in TV world. We could go there, actually. That's a good idea. Sounds good. At the very least, we can ask if anything strange has come up lately. There you go. Well, I wouldn't want to run into him in a dark alley, but... I'm pretty sure he won't fly off the handle in his family store. Maybe. All right, then let's get going. Sounds good. If things get rough, we're counting on you guys. You decide to go to Kanji Tatsumi's house to have a chat with him. All right, no, I'm, g I'm down for that. Unless he's already trapped in the TV world, then otherwise we'll just find a very sad mother in the house. Oh, well, there she is, and somebody else. Yuki-chan, it's so nice to see you. Oh, it's a nice-looking store, sorta. And they, oh, and they have that cat thing. I have no idea what the cat thing is all about. Is that supposed to be like a good luck thing, or is it just a common ornament? I don't know why, but the, I see that every now and then. Not not in this game or anything, but I don't know why. I just see that any when it has to do with something with Japanese culture, I always see that weird cat thing. <laughs> I don't know why. This, uh. One of the uh, one of the old restaurants that used to be in my in my hometown uh, used to have that. It was some Japanese restaurant. Uh, now this thing has I see that thing every single time. It always mind boggled me a little bit. I, I'm taking too much time talking about some stupid ornament. I'm sorry. <laughs> well then, if you'll excuse me, ma'am. Slender young man. He doesn't sound like a man. I'm sorry that I couldn't help more. It's all right. You've given me plenty to think about. Thank you. That actually sounds very much like a girl. Maybe that's just a voice for the guy? What's up with him, weirdo? <laughs> yes, gave me just like, oh, it's a guy with a hat, weirdo, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Never seen him before. Yuki-chan, you're as lovely as always. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Your features are starting to remind me of your mother when she was young. How can I help you today? Are you out shopping with your friends? Yeah, we're gonna need uh, tons of textiles if possible. Oh, um, well, actually... Hey, this scarf? I've seen this somewhere before. Really? Oh, you're right. Where was that? It was that place. Inside the TV. That's right. That room with those faceless posters. Oh, okay. I remember that. That was a while ago. I would, I would never remember that. Then it's that announcer's. Oh. Oh, that's how he's connected. And that's why he's gonna go to the TV world because that's her scarf. <gasps> that's how he's connected. Got it. <laughs> Are you acquaintances of Miss Yamino? Nope. Uh, well, kinda. Well, some of us are. Um, did Miss Yamino happen to have a scarf like this? Yes. It was a special order she placed. She actually ordered a pair, but in the end, she said she only wanted the women's scarf. Hmm. It left us with no choice but to sell this one separately. Oh, 
Oh man, there is a connection to the first case. What are we gonna do? I probably save the guy. He's probably gonna trap be trapped in there. I don't know. How should I know? Hello. Hello. Delivery here for the Tatsumis. Oh, I'll be right there. I'm sorry. You'll have to excuse me. Oh, it's okay. We should get going. I'll come again, ma'am. Is that so? Well, then please say hello to your mother for me. It really is connected to the first case after all. Yeah, looks like it. But it's just a scarf. Would the killer target someone just because of that? Hmm. That's a good question, actually. Maybe there's, maybe there's a deeper connection. Maybe the scarf is not really the... Scarf is just a piece of a bigger puzzle, possibly? Maybe. Conspiracy theories, I'm just tossing them out, left and right. Damn it, what's going on? I wish I knew, Yosuke. I wish I knew. Come on, let's talk outside. This is getting so good. Oh my god. Hmm? It's Kanjikun. Really? Well, quick, hide! Yosuke, <laughs> be a man. Oh, never mind. We're all running. You're not fooling anyone, you know. Oh god, that guy is... Holy crap, he got a scar and everything? Jesus Christ. Now that's a... That's an example of a delinquent or something. Shh, I can't hear what they're saying. You eavesdropped on Kanji's conversation with a boy. T Tomorrow's fine with me. Yeah, look at him. He got a bullet necklace. What the hell is this? He got a scar with two stitches on it, three earrings, bullet necklace. He probably listens to Linkin Park. Who knows? The first album. S school. Of course, I'm going to school. In that. Going to school like that? Okay, sure. Then I'll meet you at the gates after school tomorrow. D did, he, did he say he was interested? <laughs> Calling it that person, that slender boy, is actually a girl. He's a guy. And I'm a guy, but he's interested in me? Calling it, it's probably a girl. Hello, oh god. Huh? What the hell are you pricks looking at? Oh shit. Run! <laughs> Just run for it! Oh, that scared the hell out of me. He's even worse in person than on TV. Eh, sorta. The one on TV last night was definitely Kanjiko. Mm hmm. Yeah. And I just realized something. What's up? Remember the common points we were talking about? His mom fits the pattern. She's a woman, and she knew Ms. Yamano. Then why would he... She's a woman, she knows Ms. Yamano, but then why is a kid involved? But it was her son who appeared on TV. So what does that mean? It's not gender specific then. Uh, his mother's a target, Kanji's a target, they're both targets. Probably Kanji's a target. Yeah, that's what it seemed like based on the TV image. But his mother fits the pattern more than he does. Oh, maybe it's similar to my case. If you think about it, my mother fit the victim profile more than I did. Mm. She was the one who dealt directly with Miss Yamano, but I was the one who was targeted. So then maybe the kids are targeted? Then what about, uh, then what about Yosuke Senpai? Did her mother maybe fit the profile a little bit more? Does that mean it'll be the kid again instead of the mother? Maybe. But if that's true, then the killer's motive makes no sense at all. Che, he's shown people on TV. I'm pretty sure it stopped making sense as soon as the TV world was introduced. <laughs> It'd have nothing to do with silencing witnesses or revenge or anything. That's probably something else. Something bigger, maybe? You think we're on the wrong track? Maybe even the first case had nothing to do with grudges or revenge. No, we're on the right track. He just... There's still a lot of pieces missing to complete the puzzle. Or is there some kind of secret in the textile shop itself? Probably that. Maybe. God, I'm all, I'm I'm totally lost. Same. <laughs> we it's it's I feel like I'm trying to evolve them with I'm trying to get myself to like 
evolve myself with the theories and see if we can find a way to brainstorm this, but even I can't figure this out. But we can't ignore this. Yep, you're right. Hmm. Why don't we just go ahead and ask Kanji himself? Oh, bad idea. The guy's probably listening to Linkin Park and Limp Bizkit at this moment. You probably should not interrupt his music time. His, his angst time. <laughs> we could at least see if anything odd's happened lately. He scares the wits out of me, but... <sighs> I guess we'll have to. Hey, wasn't Kanji making plans with that weird kid a moment ago? Yosuke, we probably should not be sneaking up on that guy. He is huge and looks like he'll beat the hell out of us. Something about meeting up at school? Oh, God. I heard he's been skipping school ever since the new year started. Doesn't that seem a little suspicious? A little bit. Yeah, something did seem weird. Yeah, it's suspicious, all right. There's something funny going on here. I can sense it. Sense? You sound like Teddy. Still, we might find some clues. <laughs> All right, let's try staking out both Kanji and his family store. We definitely don't want the killer getting ahead of us. I'm guessing that sense joke was um maybe a translation error because I didn't get it. <laughs> that being said, Yukiko, can I have your cell number? Can I? <laughs> hey. Was this your plan all along? <laughs> no. I got everybody's phone number except for hers. Can I have her number? And the Y section of my address book needs some filling out. Smooth. While we're on the subject, could you stop calling me at night just to tell dirty jokes? <laughs> Damn it, Yosuke. <laughs> what the hell? You really sound like a pervert. <laughs> Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation with Yukiko here. Oh my god. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy tofu on my way home. I'll go with you. Oh, she didn't hear a word I said. Okay then. The stakeout is set for tomorrow. Hmm, stakeouts? Tailing people? Woo! I'm getting goosebumps. She's getting excited. You decide to stake out Kanji in the textile shop tomorrow. Might not be a good idea to stake out for a big guy like that, but eh, whatever, whatever. Welcome home. Hey, Nanako. I always like saying hi to her. She, she says hi to us. That's why I like saying hi to her. In the fridge, as a as a chilled gulping melon cream soda. Drink it. We could raise the courage because we don't know if it's any good or not. Maybe raise knowledge because we would know exactly what it is then. Hmm. I do want to speak to Nan. Well, she's probably not gonna have anything for the weekend, so I'm gonna drink it. I'm gonna drink it. See what happens. Hmm. You powered uh, down the entire bottle in less than a minute. The sweetness of the melon perfectly matches the taste of the cream. That's it. Now they catches your eye. Well, at least we didn't get sick. That's always lovely. We have no way to make lunch for tomorrow. Uh, let's talk to Nanako, see what she's up to. Boys at school pretend that they're, uh, they're in gangs when they're around. Wait, hold on, what'd you say? The boys at school pretend they're in gangs when they run around. Alright, good for them. Let me check these, the forecast real quick, if you don't mind. Tomorrow is gonna be Tuesday, 17th. Should be sunny, 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 and then cloudy, cloudy towards Saturday, Sunday. Okay, we're good, we go for the week. Uh, let's go upstairs and see if he can maybe build up some courage by drinking the, uh... Go to bed early to prepare for the rewards mission. I didn't want to, I kinda wanted to read the courage book, but whatever. I guess we can't do much at this point. I'll probably shoot a save, but eh, it'll be alright. It'll be fine. 